right, all right, all right. Ooh, this is so wobbly. Hello everyone, I'm in Paris right now. I just wanna do a quick unboxing of what I got. First, I'm gonna show you what I got from Louis Vuitton. And a lot of these are gifts, so I'm not going to open gifts. For example, this is a gift that's nicely wrapped, so I'm not gonna open it. And then this is also a gift that's nicely wrapped, so I'm not gonna open it. This is a fragrance, and uh, not sure what it's called, like, I forgot. But yeah, also not gonna open it. <laughs> I got this is for myself. I think this is the last one in the store and this is a really cute wallet or a card holder and this is in Empreinte leather and in I think this color is either powder rose or rose ballerine. It's probably powder rose since it's lighter and Inside you can put in your cards all separated. So in my opinion, this is better than the key pouch so the Empreinte key pouch I've been wanting the Ombron key pouch for the longest time, but they're either super expensive, like 700 something dollars, pre-loved, or very used for like maybe $400. And I believe this is 400 euros, which to me is so much more worth it than the key pouch because used key pouch is like $400 and it's like super used. Anyway, those are the ones that I saw in the pre-loved market. And there's also a slot over here where you can put your, I think, metro cards like cards that you need to use really often and here you can put some i guess cash or receipt here or parking tickets and also here you can put coins so to me this is a really versatile piece and here you can put you know there's four slots here you can put in your most used cards to me this is such a versatile piece and it's so pretty and it just fills void in my heart for the Empreinte Rose Ballerine key pouch and I just love this. And this is the last one in the store. If I can find the name for this, I'll link it in the info box, but I just, I'm so glad I got this and I had to put a reservation on this because it's like the last one in the store, but I wanted to buy the next day because I want to use my Le Bon Marche card privilege and I'll also make a video about this. The Le Bon Marche 24 card is just super nice. I haven't used up the points yet, but I'm going to let you guys know when I use it. I think tomorrow or the day after. And so yeah, that's my Louis Vuitton, the only item that I got for myself. And let's move on to this one. So this is from APM Monaco, super excited. They also gave me this little jewelry box that's like super cute where I can put in, I guess, my jewelries. So okay, one of the rings I'm really wearing right now, it's a snake ring. I'm usually not into snakes that much, but I don't own a gold ring, and since I got my love bracelet, the plain one, recently I decided to get a gold ring just to match it, and this hand is like all silver. I like to not mix gold and silver together. I know some people love it, but I like to have one gold of silver and one, one gold of silver. One hand of silver and one hand of gold, so that just gives a nice balance. Honestly, she tied everything so nicely. I'm not sure if this has anything because one box is for my ring. It's so nice. I don't want to ruin the ribbon, but I kind of have to. So, this is me. This is my. Ooh, there's something in here. So, this is my star necklace. It's super pretty. I'll leave the name in the info box. I love the design of this. If you can see, it's like a drawstring kind of thing. Not drawstring, like the convenient little clasp that you can just pull up to make it tighter around the neck and it's like super convenient you can put this on yourself I'm gonna put it on for you guys right now it's kind of hard to see with my shirt but wait this is flipped like this so like this super pretty bling bling and I'm gonna take it off just because today's outfit does not match with this next I have should be this one this is my ear cuff and I've been eyeing this for a long time. I also tried their super big earring thingy, but uh, that one is just too big for my liking. So I got the ear cup instead. And I don't know why, maybe it's because I've tried on too many earrings, but my ear lobes or, you know, ear holes kind of got irritated, start hurting a bit. So I decided not to get earrings from them. And it's kind of weird because you kind of just open it. There's really no opening. You kind of just bend the metal <laughs> to, enlarge the opening and then forcefully close it so it's like a little sketch if you think of it that way but yeah this is the ear cuff that I really like and okay 
I am going to leave this next item in my next video because I feel like it deserves it. But thank you so much for watching and please feel free to thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what are your thoughts and also next video ideas and requests. Have a wonderful day and see you guys next time. Bye!